Hi everybody, today I'll be sharing with you four tips that I use. We're going to go ahead and look at how to create a header on canva.com, insert buttons on Google Sites, navigate the themes, and also hide your slides when you present it to your students. So let's get started. Tip number one is creating your headers. So we're going to start off by opening up canva.com. I'm going to go ahead and press create a design and I'll click on custom dimensions and I'll put in the dimensions for your Google head um, page. Create new design. Um, once this loads up, you'll see that canva.com has so many options from templates and you could upload a picture. There's a lot of options here. We're going to go ahead and use text box. And in text box feature, you have a ton of fonts you can use. Some of these are free, but then there's also the good ones that are pro version. So it depends on which one you want to get. So we're going to use the feeling cute um, text box. You just click on it and it'll come on the side and you basically adjust to whatever you want. Let's go ahead and write third grade website. Okay, done. So now I'm going to click on effects and right now it's on the splice option. So over here, the color, I'm going to change it a bit darker. Maybe this blue. Okay, that looks good. I do want to outline, so I'm going to go ahead and click on black for that. And you could also play around with the thickness. So you see this? It's pretty cool. Mm, that looks good. And I'll probably do the same for my name as well. So yeah, you can play around with this. It's pretty fun. So we're going to go ahead and click on elements now to add some clip arts and let's go ahead and search for school. And some of these clip arts are free and obviously the rest are pro. So you have to kind of see if you're on the free version, you have to really look around. But if you're on the pro, it's pretty easy. Let's click on the free one. So you see there's a book. Now we're going to go ahead and some of these have options where you could change color. So like if you don't like the pink book, you can make it blue. So that's pretty cool, but not every image has that option. So let's choose another image. Let's choose the globe. And this is the pro version. And now you notice that this does not have the option of changing colors. So it just depends on what you have. Um, let's see, maybe I'll also add a rectangle border on this. So once I fix these images, let's go ahead and type in rectangle. There's a whole bunch. Let's just click on one of them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn it. And then we're going to kind of resize it to what I want. And then, okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and change the color in this op option we can. So let's change it to black. Okay. Awesome. All right. We are ready to save it. Go ahead and click on download. And you notice you can go ahead and save this various ways pdf jpg let's go ahead and do a png and you could also do any page number you want we're just doing the page one download and then once that pops up make sure to save it on your desktop okay let's go ahead over to google sites now all right moving over to tip number two inserting a button all right we're going to start off with opening Google Sites on our drive. So you have to click more to get to Google Sites. Once that pops up, you'll notice that the header is pretty. Eh. So you're going to change image to what you just created. So go ahead and upload your image to what you just made. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on insert and go down and where you see button, go ahead and click on that. Here, you're going to write a title for your button. So I want the button to say student login. And I will go ahead and find my link for my school's websites. Insert that and then go ahead and click and drag to how you want it to look like. So now when they click on this, it'll just take them to their site. Tip three, how to navigate themes on Google Sites. So over to the side where you see themes, you'll see simple, Aristotle, diplomat, vision, level, impression. Go ahead and play around with that. So it gives you an idea on what to do. Also, you'll see here on my upper left hand corner, it says edit logo. I just went ahead and created the third image and I just uploaded it. So 
if I just trash it and show you, you just click on upload, find your image, third, or whatever you want to write, and that's it. So it automatically just uploads on this side, so that way it's like a little logo that students can keep track of where they are. And that's about it. Also over here, we'll just go ahead and look at inserting different layouts. I do like pictures on mine, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the four pictures. And let's go ahead and add some pictures and some more buttons. So I like playing around with buttons, that way the kids can click on it. So let's just go ahead and do that. So once I added my picture, instead of clicking to add text, I want them to link it to my map page since this is the home page. So I'm going to click on trash, and trash that, and insert a button. And I will write my name. And for the link, instead of pasting a link, I'm just going to link it through this site and click on my map page. And then just click on insert. Click drag to how you like it, and let's go ahead and preview this. And you notice when they click on my name, it automatically takes them to my web page. Super cool. All right, tip number four how to hide slides. So what I mean by hiding a slide is when you give this link to the students, whether you give it in the presentation mode or make a copy mode, yes, they can click on your links, but they can also play around and just click an arrow on their keyboard and also go next like that. So if you want to prevent the kids from touching any arrows on their keyboard and playing around or getting distracted, you want to hide your slides. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click the second slide and you're going to say, uh, skip slide and what that does is it prevents them from pressing any keys and going to the next page and you want to do this for all of them so go ahead and do that now when you present it they have to click on your links they cannot press any keys on their keyboard and get distracted um, so if you want to share this to your Google Sites, a good way is, let me go ahead and go back. And so this is a great way to share these on your Google Sites. So what you're going to do is um, click on Share. And obviously it's going to be restricted. So you will change the settings to anyone with the link. And then once that happens, click Done. And then at the top where you see after that slash and you see Edit Hashtag Slide, ID and all these things, go ahead and remove that and write preview question mark RM equals minimal. And once you press enter, this is the link you want to insert in your button for like your Google Sites. You could also make a bit.ly to make that small. I hope these tips were helpful and I'm going to go ahead and share a little demo of my website. Enjoy. Thank you.